Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add a WhatsApp button on Facebook page post. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, how do we actually add that what up button on our page, Facebook page? Well, it's actually pretty easy. So first things first, let's go open up Facebook here. And from here, we need to switch over to our Facebook page. Now to do that, you just need to click on the tree bar icon at the top right of the screen. Click on the drop down icon here and switch to your page. So in this case, I'm already in my page here. Now, in this case, once you switch over to page, access the settings or tree bar icon again. And from here, scroll down a bit and click on the settings option there. Now, what we need to do next is we need to scroll down a bit here because we'll be using or basically accessing a specific setting. In this case, go ahead and scroll down a bit and look for permissions. Now, click on the linked accounts option there. And from here, what we need to do is we need to choose the option that says WhatsApp. Now, in this case, once you've done that, it's going to ask you to add a WhatsApp number. Now, in this case, uh, you can go and just click on the connect a number into your WhatsApp account here. So whenever you click on connect a number here, it's going to ask you what's the number for and click on the send code to WhatsApp. Now, in this case, uh, you will be receiving a code that you need to enter here to connect your WhatsApp account. Now, once you've done that, you should be able to connect your account. In this case, this does not end here. So what we need to do next is we now need to access our actual page. Now to do that, we need to go to our homepage here, click on your profile icon at the top left of your screen. And from here, click on the tree bar icon that you see on your page there. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to change a few things here. So in this case, we need to click on the edit action button option there. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to click on the edit buttons. And from here, we make sure that the send WhatsApp message is actually enabled. Now, in this case, you might see the connect WhatsApp account here. So if you haven't added your number, you can just go ahead and click on connect WhatsApp account here. And same thing, it's going to ask you to enter your number as well as uh, you'll be receiving a code for you to connect your account. Now, in this case, once you've done that, just click on the save option here. Just make sure that the WhatsApp message is enabled. And once you've done that, once we actually visit our WhatsApp or our page here, as you can see, I'm going to click on view as. As you can see, we now have the WhatsApp button there. Now, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.